In my last video, you guys saw me wearing these shorts, and uh, they're really dirty. They have wine all over them, but because I, I wore them to the Aero store, that's why I made them. And I also posted them on my Instagram story, and I've gotten so many questions about them and requests to do a tutorial. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to do that. I am no professional, very much so a beginner. And so what I did basically was follow a pattern that I bought on Etsy from Anita Sewing. It was like $3 or something. And honestly, I just wanted something easy to follow with instructions. So, or you can just trace a pair of shorts that you have, but I'm just going to be showing you essentially how I made these. I actually thrifted a pair of pillowcases that I used for these, and so I repurposed them into these. And so they already had the ruffle trim, so I didn't have to do that. I've never made ruffles before, so we're gonna try that today so I can show you guys how to do the ruffles and we'll figure it out because I don't have the trim obviously in the same pillowcase. So anyway, stick around if you wanna watch me make another pair of these and I'm going to try my best to explain everything I'm doing in a coherent way and I hope you enjoy. Okay, welcome to my dungeon. I had to really boost the ISO, so. Anyway, the first thing that we're going to start with is the pattern. Printed out the pattern, the PDF version of it, like I said, it was like $3 down below and then I lined up all of the lines with each other and I taped it together, cut it out and then I'm left with two pieces which will create four pieces. Eventually I'll become one piece. Personally I'm no Jenna Phipps and so whenever I was watching Jenna Phipps do like the PDF patterns and like put them together, I was just like, that looks crazy. I'm not able to do that, like it's just too hard. And then I realized it's literally just taping the papers together and creating one big piece of paper. It's a lot easier than I thought at the beginning. So if you are also under that misconception, just letting you know that it's very easy. So anyway, that's what I did with these and then we're left with these two. And also once you cut the pattern pieces out, it's gonna look big and these are big, but they scrunch up and that's what gives them that like really nice flow, I think, is how wide they are and then they taper in at the waist. Um, and that's what I personally wanted out of a pair of shorts. And then as far as supplies go, this is what I'm going to be using today. My brother sewing machine. This is the CP100X model. A sharp pair of scissors. Sewing clips or pins. Elastic for the waistband. The same color thread as your fabric. And then the fabric, which I'm just using a thrifted sheet. As you can see, I cut the first panel out. In the instructions, it says front cut one pair, mirrored image. So I'm just going to move that over, move this over so that I can flip. So I can just flip it so it's a mirrored image and then we'll have two of these that will connect. Now we have two of the front panels. Now we have one of the back panel and then we do the exact same thing and cut on a mirrored image. Now we have two of the back panels as well. So now what I basically did, I just clipped everything up until like the crotch part basically, like this part stays open. Curve and then everything above it gets pinned or uh, clipped. And then the same thing goes for the other piece as well. As you can see, I left that part open. And then basically we're just going to sew everything that I just clipped. Also, it's been rainy all week this week. And so I feel like this is my rainy day activity. Cutting the bobbin really quick. Can you talk while I do this? And you know what, I feel like these are gonna, I mean, I'm glad you guys asked me to do this because I really did need to make another pair because I kind of did it shittily. Like I used a different color thread, which I know I, I've done before and it ruins the project for me because I it look, looks like badly done, you know? And then I also didn't think I had enough elastic for the waist and so I just did a tie waist, which I wish I would have done like both or just elastic. I also made a matching top to go with it that have has the like ruffles as well. But I kept spilling red wine all over me all night. Anyway, basically you just make a loose pair of shorts and you add a ruffle trim around it. I bet you could even buy ruffle trim already made, but we are going to try to attempt, after I sew these together, we're gonna attempt ruffles. I don't know, we'll see. I'm just going to sew these two panels together. Also the instructions that come with this uh, pattern I really like because they're picture instructions, which for me, I either like picture or video instructions. And so it's been very helpful. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more to the bobbin. I'm gonna try this tray out. I haven't used this tray since I started using it. I don't think I need to, but like it kind of gives like a lot more options. Can you tell that it even does that? And if you guys are looking to buy a new sewing machine, I always used this like just the basic Singer one um, until Jared got me this like two Christmases ago for, for Christmas and I love it. Again, this is the CP100X by Brother and I really like it. I love the 
threading. I'm so like shocked to how easy it is to thread the needle with it. I don't know. But just in case you guys are looking for a recommendation. Anyway, sewing this together now and I'm gonna shut up. On this machine, I'm using the zero zero stitch, which is just a straight stitch with a normal um, amount of width. Whenever I cut the fabric, I'm not that good at it. So I like to give myself a little bit extra. Um, this piece sewn together. Yes, halfway there. Well, it looks creepy, or me not smiling during it, or me smiling. I feel like me smiling, kind of. Looks more psycho. Essentially, you just put the two patterns together, or both sides, and where the seams are in the middle, and then you pin the crotch area together and the sides, and then you sew it. And I just start at the crotch because for some reason on this pattern, I don't know if it's just my pattern because of the way I cut it out or something, but the butt part is bigger, but maybe that's just because the butt's, my butt's bigger, you know what I mean, than the front. Okay, now that that is pinned all down the side, um, into the crotch area as well, and then on the other side, now I'm just going to sew that. <laughs> So we're trying them on. I like personally how high waisted they are, um, but you can make your adjustments from here after everything's sewn. I think I'm gonna leave. I think I'm going to make these a tiny bit shorter just because we are adding the, uh, you know, the ruffle trim, and it'll make it longer. And I don't want them to be super long. I like them to kind of hit me like right mid thigh, and then this. I should be good because once it folds over onto the top for the waistband, I think it'll be perfect. So I'm just going to chop these down a little bit, make sure they're secure, and then we're going to do the ruffle. This is how much I just trimmed off of it for reference, just in case that interests you. For my personal size, which I'm going off of the size 16 pattern, 40 inches would be technically the amount of uh, trim I would need, but I need to figure out how much extra I need to add to account for the ruffles I'm assuming not like that much. I'm trying to do testers of the uh, ruffled trim This is what I have so far not good But not bad, but not good <laughs> I left the house. I, okay, here's the thing you guys. I, if it's not going to, it's, I don't want this tutorial to be the easiest possible thing for you guys. So if you didn't find something that already has a trim on it, I think that's the best option. If you can find something at the thrift store that already has a trim on it or whatever, or if you can find a matching trim to the fabric that you have. With the sheet I'm using, I don't exactly have that option. And I'm like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go try. I think I'd rather it be a little bit different than the shorts that I have anyway but then also something that you guys can still do whether you use brand new fabric thrifted fabric whatever um i want this to be as simple and easy to follow as possible so i think that going here and doing this i just think it'll look better because i've never done ruffling as i was doing it, i'm like it's not going to be perfect and i'm okay with that sometimes but if i'm filming it for you guys i want it to be as close to perfect as possible so we're going to go into joanne's and try to find some ruffly trim whether it's lace i would love like an eyelet lace or just like a regular cotton kind i think that would be great so hopefully you can find that so that's how i'm going to do this this tutorial and if you are good with ruffling I think it'll match the fabric the most and I think it looks super cool like the other one that I have I like that it matches the fabric and it looks really nice and it's like simple but alas <laughs> options that I grabbed. I bought this little lace kind of eyelet looking one 
and I think it's a little bit off of on color and so I'm going to skip that and just move directly onto this one which is a little bit creamier but once it's actually on there like it looks way different in the camera but in person it's really not that different and once it's on it'll be fine and this is closer I guess to the original anyway and it's more roughly so we're gonna try this for the trim Don't listen to me, this is how it should look right now. If you have the pants turned right side out, so this is how you would wear them, right? I go down here to the edges, and this is where the bottom is, and I flipped up the ribbon towards this way. How you sew it, it goes like up there. If you flip it, it will hide the seam and be like that. And don't make the mistake I just did, I just had to redo this and seam rip it because I made the mistake of doing it when it was um, inside out, but you want it to be right side out with this way going up like this. I'm just basically going to top stitch over to this Stitch that's already there. And then this is what you're left with after I've done sewing everything. I'm going to flip it this way so you can see. That's how the seam looks all flipped over. And then I'm basically just going to iron that down. Now that the seam is all pressed and everything's laying flat, I'm just going to run over it with a top stitch just to keep everything secure. I don't know the measurements of stitches still, but I think it's like, basically like five eighths, I think away from like the stitch that we just did. And then we're left with this beautiful stitch work there and dark hair, love it. All right, moving on to the waistband, I'm just folding it over a little bit uh, I used to never iron my stuff, you guys. I know it's like the proper way to do things, but I was, I don't know. I just didn't think it changed it that much. And then now it's like all I can do. It may, it, it's so helpful. Anyway, um, so this is how it ends up. I folded it over about two inches and then ironed it. My elastic is, I think about like one inch. So I wanted it to have a little bit of room in there to bunch up. And I'm using a zigzag stitch, which is number four on my machine. And I'm just going to sew it right here just so there's enough room again for like the elastic i left about probably like an inch and a half ish actually you just make a normal elastic waistband um i'll link a tutorial from tiktok that i have gone back to before that i really like but now i'm just adding a safety pin to the end of the elastic and threading it through basically i made the hole a little smaller than i should have but um after i did that i sew the elastic together and then i sew the hole together and we are basically finished Okay, shorts are done, and of course it's so gloomy out. I wish I could show you on a really, really beautiful sunny day, but um, you guys will see them styled more. These ones are way better than the pair that I made originally. Let me show you. First of all, I like the material of these sheets better. Also, love the trim. It's so thick and like nice feeling. This is like the waistband on the pair. As you can see, I used blue. Blue. They're just made way better and I will link everything that I used down below like as far as like the ruffle stuff goes in case you do want to try this. I just love these so much and also I tailored this top. Remember I was talking to you guys about it. Um, I cut like a few inches off of it. I thrifted it a while ago and I think it looks so cute together and just in general way better. But anyway, now I get to enjoy my new shorts. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this or felt some inspiration to make some new shorts for this summer. These are going to be like my go-to all summer long. Also, if you do like this DIY sewing kind of stuff, subscribe down below and let me know if you want more of these. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. I love you. Bye.